Hi, my name is Portia Brenner, and I'm here at the studios at Frame One Media talking with Alton Tinker, the co-founder of the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival. How are you today, Alton? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for joining us. So tell us a little bit more about what you do. Well, in addition to being the co-founder of the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival, I'm also the chairman of the board for the nonprofit organization that organizes the film festival. That's awesome. What is the festival itself all about? The film festival provides a platform for talented filmmakers to showcase their work. We also provide educational opportunities for not just the filmmakers, but anybody that's interested in having a career in the film industry. Now, what was the inspiration behind starting the festival? Well, the festival was started by Donna Dabbs and, and myself. Donna and I, in the past, did a lot of events together. So we were looking for something that we can bring to the community. And al although there's all the film festivals in Cleveland, none of them focus on the black experience. So that was the inspiration to provide a platform where we can tell our own story and it's not controlled by any other media. Fantastic. So who is the target audience for the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival? We mostly show independent films. So our target audience is people that love independent films. So we try to have a very diverse audience. So how long is the festival? Is it just one day or is it over multiple days? The festival is over multiple days. Um, it's nine days. The first four days is in person at Atlas Cinema at Shaker Square. Then we move to a virtual film festival, online film festival, and then the last day, we back in person for closing night. So every year, the festival runs in September. Yes. Why did you choose September to hold the festival? Yeah. Well, when we first started, um, our first film festival was in 2012, and that was in April. And the first year, the weather was perfect. The second year, it snowed, because <laughs> as you know, this is Cleveland, Ohio. Then the third year, it rained. <laughs> so we was like, which month do we think would be the best month in terms of weather, um, as far as, you know, we have guests that comes from out of town. And so September seems to be the best time as far as the temperature, you pretty much you know it's not going to snow. It's, the temperature is, is more modest. So the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival, GCUF, yes. um, as many people have come to know it in the area, what was the inspiration behind the name? When we started looking at the name, we looked whether or not we want to be a, a Northeast Ohio Film Festival, we looked if we want to be Ohio Film Festival, or we looked if we want to be a little more local name as far as the Cleveland um, market. So we decided that, you know, since Cleveland is a major city, we would use Cleveland as the location as far as the greater Cleveland. The second thing that we look at, do we want to have a black film festival or do we want to be more inclusive? And so we decided to use greater Cleveland and urban to make it a little more inclusive. So where can people go to find more information about the festival? So to find out more information and to buy tickets, you can go to gcuff.org. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I learned a lot and hopefully you guys did too. Again, you can check them out at the Greater Cleveland Film Festival's website at gcuff.org. And while you're there, be sure to check out our social media sites. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We look forward to connecting with you at this year's festival.